harnessing the aerodynamic downforces generated at speed, Jim Hall led the automotive world into the next era of speed and competition. In the early 60s, considered one of the best drivers in the world, Jim also began designing revolutionary race cars and creating an automotive dynasty that is still recognized today for both its success and innovation. Working closely with research and development at Chevrolet and combining his own skills as an engineer, designer, and driver, Hall would apply the same forces that keep airplanes up to keeping his own race cars down, going faster than anyone had gone before. And now is whether Hall will try to overtake his teammate. He has the faster chaparral. He raced the record book. Soon, the very innovations that Jim Hall pioneered began showing up on other cars, and it was back to the drawing board again. This time, all preconceived notions of how a race car should look were thrown out the window. Jim replaced the rear wing with a mechanical vacuum system to hold the car to the road and introduced the 2J. Known popularly as the sucker car for the dust that it lifted off the track surface, this car was so fast that before the bugs could be worked out, racing officials outlawed it. After winning Indy in 1978 on his first try with Al Unser in a Lola Cosworth, Hall began the task of creating the best open-wheeled race car in the world, the 2K. And succeed he did winning races in 1979, and then the 1980 Indy 500, and the Indy Car Championship as well. Jim Hall and the Chaparrales dominated race tracks worldwide. By combining innovation with an ultimate desire to win, they created a dynasty that still awes race fans. The Chaparrales left an indelible mark on racing, one that can be seen in the shape of almost every race car today.